by Zachariah Hinthorn of Fleming, Ohio. Six was number 116 from Hudson Pines Farm at Sleepy Hollow, New York. Seven is your number 120, shown by Larry and Jean Carr from Mason City, Illinois. Eighth in that class was entry number 121, shown by Abby Wilson of Healdsburg, Michigan. Ninth, entry 115, shown by Zachariah Hinthorn. And tenth in the class was entry number 122 from Rocky Hill Farms at Dawsonville, Georgia. Scimitar side, we need entries 155 and 157. Please bring them on to the scale. Here are the weights on the Scimitar females in the ring. If you're number 123, weight 74, you're 2.54. 125, 855 pounds, 2.92. 130, weight 965, 3.24. 63, 865 at 2.89. Number 131, 980, 328. 133, 915, 3.05. 135, 780, 2.59. Number 134, weight 940, 3.1. Number 149, Simmentals. To the scales, please.
January heifers over here in the Angus show. Uh, really nice top end of this class, and we can put the numbers up and see if we kind of mix them around a little bit. Uh, I think that's that kind of class. There's uh, lots of good in all three of these heifers that we lead off with, and uh, uh, just good things about them, parts and pieces we all really like. Heifer we started with, just a really a big old broody mate kind of female. We like the bone and substance of this heifer. A uh, really sound move as she gets out and goes. Might square up this a little bit when you get right behind her, I think. You know, I, I just see a little more muscle shape than at least one of the other heifers in the class. But females just got a lot of rib, a lot of length, a lot of overall body and dimension. Heifer's probably the most like her in the class. This next one, again, a big rib kind of female. A lot of depth and a lot of dimension to her. It's me just a little shorter hip as we watch her go and track out here today. But uh, again, a really nice square made female, a lot of balance to her. The heifer I like in the class is the heifer coming next. I think the real clean fronted kind of female. Not quite as rugged, not quite as much bone to her as we see her, but really balanced and a long clean front on her, really angular. I get behind her, I see quite a bit of muscle shape. Just like to square her up, stuff, uh, stiffen her up, not stiffen her, but uh, stouten her up and you know, down that leg and dimension to her, but uh, really nice set of females. Next heifer comes out, a lot like him, a lot of depth and body and rib to her. I don't think she squares up quite as well behind, loosen her up just a little bit as she walks and tracks out. Come on down the line here, another heifer, she's got a lot of depth and rib, a real complete made kind of female, a lot of, a lot of dimension to her, just pushes a little more shoulders where you see her go, gets her little tail head up, up a little bit as she walks and tracks out. Next heifer coming out here, a little bigger frame kind of female, not quite as much width and chest to her as we see her go, the young man's heifer coming around here, 138 next. Again, a real nice pattern kind of female, I like the way she blends in her shoulder. Again, one of those, we just like to flex off that hind leg and move around a little better from that end. Highest growth heifer in the class comes next, a big, red, heavy muscle kind of female. Again, this pushes a little more shoulder, a little more dimension to her than we might like to have. I like to lean her up and clean her up a little bit through her front end and down underneath. Now, the young lady's heifer going out next, one just not moving well enough behind uh, for us to get up any higher than a little heifer we end with. A little shorter, quicker in her hip, a little shorter in her stride. Back on uh, the Simmental side here, uh, Roger and I found a, a heifer in the Baldy that leads this class that we would describe or, or see as the most problem-free and the most complete. Uh, no, she's not the most razor neck, most chisel-fronted heifer that there is in the class, but you study her there from her shoulders back. That's a pretty good female. She's got plenty of center body. She's way soft enough sided. She's very true in her belly wall, uh, very deep and, and good in terms of her rib shape. As she's wide handed, she's sure got plenty of muscle. If we're going to change her, I sure want to pull her neck out of her. And Roger and I agree, she maybe runs downhill just a little bit in her chest floor. But from her shoulders back, that's a very good body heifer that's way sound enough. That's very good on her feet and clean in her joints. The heifer that comes out next, uh, the solid black female, she is the one in front of heifer of that pair that is flatter shouldered and more angular and refined here in front end. As you compare her though, she's a heifer, uh, when you ask her to get out and go around the ring, she maybe pushes her front end just a little bit more, maybe gets a little more vertical and rigid out of her shoulder and her front pastern, but that's a heifer that is very angular, she's very long-sided and very feminine, and you sure like that about her. 